All my life I've been in telecommunications from when I was 16 years old. Yes. I started working on very basic things like fixing telephones and, yes. and people's wires to their houses and things wow. like that. So I started as an apprentice yes. in those days. And it was pretty overloaded, pretty dilapidated network, and that's yeah. what we inherited. Yes. Plus, we also inherited most of the staff, right. about 55 staff yes. from Telcom. And so basically, we, we took that on, and then we moved to our old Safaricom house down the road there in one floor. All of us were on one floor, and the whole floor just Safaricom. We inherited... You know, as I said, quite a dilapidated system, yeah. replacing that system, putting yeah. a billing system in place, the switches. It was just a tremendous, you know, uh, race yes. to get the equipment ready on time with the limited amount of money that we had. So the IPO for us is not critical. Yeah. The, the important part for the IPO for us is that uh, we will no longer be a state corporation. Yes and also that it allows me to provide incentives for my staff yes. in terms of stock options and, and things like that. Do I really want to have shareholder base of 2 million or 3 million people? Uh, you know, do I want to have you know, mail out the annual reports yes. to a million people or 2 million people? Do I need to have my accounts uh, and my all my details in, in public eye? Yes. No. Yes. But that's the price that we have to pay right. in order to, to, to get where we want to go. You know, they're talking about offering these shares to, you know, one million, two million. Well, the question is, how do you handle it? There are no systems. You know, not forget about, you know, us selling it. I don't think I don't think we need to have a, a financial advisor or anything like that. I can go and sell 25% Safaricom tomorrow afternoon down, you know, anybody, anybody can do it. Yeah, yeah. So you'd buy it, anybody would buy it. But to, to manage the process that we're yes. going to be go, go through to, in order to make sure that everybody has a reasonable access to Safaricom shares, they'll be priced accordingly, there'll be a, quite a big proportion will be offered to the Wananshi or to yes. the retail market. And then how do you handle logistically yeah. two or three million applications? Absolutely. It has never been done before. No. As you know, Kenya Ray, not Kenya Ray, Kenjin, I think was 800,000 or something. Right. Like. Yeah, this is and how are you going to manage it? Mm -hmm. You know, in the time that we have. Yeah. But we'll still see other competitors, you know, we'll, uh, Econet may be a second national operator. So I think the competitive situation will change, yes. be more challenging. Um, you know, we bring more competitors come here, we'll put more pressure on us because they'll see us as the, as, as the giant to yeah. shoot, you know, so they'll aim, they'll target us for sure. Yeah. They'll try and get a free ride on our network yeah. because that will make sense to them, economic sense to them. So I think there'll be challenges ahead, but I'm confident that in, you know, that we will still be the market leader in 10 years' time. Yes. I, I have no other hobbies other than this job, and yes. it's, 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 it's a shocking disclosure. I really need to get on with some other parts of my yes. life.